You know, I don't I don't really talk soccer very often and when we do it's uh, about the world cup or something along those lines women's world cup the men's world cup but i'm i'm playing poker with my buddies last night and we're flipping around the the uh, thursday night game was just not terribly compelling you could kind of sense when when dwayne haskins came in the game and threw the interception that gave the ball right back to a Minnesota team that went for it on fourth and short on its own 30-something. Right. Didn't get it. And I'm like, okay, now's the chance where Washington could potentially make some hay. Let's get the ball in the end zone. Let's use Dwayne Haskins' arm and get it in the end zone. And instead, he threw high to McLaurin, and it was a pick. And once that happened, we kind of realized, like, this is the way it's going to go. We flipped back and forth. Clippers were up by 20 at that point in time. Early third quarter. So we decided to flip it over to El Trafico, which is the wink and a nod to the old El Clasico between Real Madrid and FC Barcelona in the battle for Los Angeles. The LA Galaxy against LAFC, which is Will Ferrell and a whole bunch of other people's new team, essentially, here in Los Angeles. They built this beautiful new soccer-sized Stadium right next door to the L.A. Coliseum, and the the action was ridiculous. There were eight goals last night, Chris. It was just nonstop back and forth. Yeah, I was surprised action. when I saw the score, and it was just a bunch of fun. And the number of times that L.A.F.C. would score, we're seeing it right now, so quickly that the smoke from their previous goal <laughs> had oh, yet to it. dissipate. And it was just one after another after another, and it was intense. And Bob Bradley, who is familiar to a lot of U.S. men's national team fans, former coach of the U.S. men's national team, his son is one of the most uh, lightning rod players. Indeed. Okay. And um, the scene, we're watching the fans bounce up and down. All my buddies uh, in town say, you got to go. You got to take your kids to a game, and, and we will do that. And they move past. It's the first time in six attempts LAFC had beaten LA Galaxy in Zlatan, who went off the field last night in defeat, um, grabbing his, uh, his, his Zlatans <laughs> at the fans. And I'm telling you, again, this was intense. The fans were going nuts. Zlatan was going right back at him. Of course he was. After the match. Do we have that sound bite? Can we fire that one up too, please? Because he's he's been dynamite for... Oh, you could say he might be the MVP of the league this year, right? Or or LAFC's uh, Carlos Velo, who we'll get to in a second. Right. So here we go. Uh, This was Zlatan when asked after the match if he's done with MLS, if we've seen the end of Zlatan here in the United States. And what happens next year, I don't know. I mean, if I stay or not, I think for MLS is good because the whole world will watch it. If I don't stay, nobody will remember what MLS is. You know, it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. He's got, a, he's got a fascinating sense of self, this guy. I love it. <laughs> no, no, no. By the way, ask Seattle, which is coming down here on Tuesday yeah, night for the man. right to represent the Western Conference for the MLS Cup. They're, I mean... When I'm talking about this, all of our fans who are watching and listening up in Seattle right now are like, hold our lattes. Excuse us. You want to talk about scenes. They play in the home of the Seahawks. Right. By the way, the MLS and, started in 1993. Yeah, no, so, no, I yeah. know. It's great. But it's been it, going on for a while. So after, time. <laughs> after the match, and again, just this is one of, one of the most remarkable sound bites that you will um, see anywhere. So Bradley is asked after the match about Carlos Vela who um, has been amazing this year. You could say he is the MVP this year. But in previous times, in big matches, he has not, if you will, to use the sports phrase, shown up. He has not performed as very, as well in big games. So after the game, ESPN sent uh, reporter Sebastian Salazar okay. to Bob Bradley after the match. And again, this is a big moment for LAFC. And... This is kind of one of those softball questions you ask a coach to gush about your star player. But Bradley didn't like the construct very well. Roll it. 
People have asked questions about Carlos Vela in big games. What can you say about his performance this evening? Who asked those questions? Over the course of his career, those questions have been asked. They've been asked this year. How many big games have you had this year? That question. I think it's a fair question. I his performance so. tonight. Uh, after this season, get lost. Get lost. Thank you, Bob. Get lost and he walks away. <laughs> And then looks back at him like... We might have a new drop, Mikey. Get lost? Yeah. <laughs> new segment, Get Lost of the Week. That's not an unfair question. Not an unfair question. It's not an unfair question. You know, what would it be? Like, uh, he's had an amazing year this year. What about his performance tonight? Right. O or but in previous... Like, this is... Again, this is a first of six attempts to try and beat the, the, if you will, most, you know, they're, they're like the Clippers to the L.A. Galaxy Lakers. But, uh, but Bradley's comeback of, you know, what about this year? And then the reporter, well, how many big games have you played this year? Nice comeback. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, again, it, uh, I'm also, I did just, I, I'll be very honest. Surfed into it, dropped into it because the guys who I'm playing poker with are more attuned to right. MLS and soccer. Some of them in LAFC games, and they're really fired up. And we we're watching it. I kind of just do just dropped into that world last night. I was, I was pleasantly in enjoying. I mean, just the end to end action made it. Uh, and then just seeing the scene behind the goal, the LA the LAFC fans, it was amazing. And then to see Bob and Zlatan saying, you know, what he's worth, and then Bob Bradley telling a reporter to get lost. <laughs> that means man. Great. It's great. And everybody's thinking, like, it, it, everybody says LA is like a laid back town. We are a laid back town. But there's also that Larry David undercurrent in this town, too, where there's, there's a lot of people in this town who are underrated, angry people, <laughs> like a farmer's market that Susie likes to go to a lot. The farmer's market. You think sometimes, I don't know, I'm going to call it my local farmer's market now. There's like a farmer's market. Susie likes going there. She loves shopping there. She yep. loves doing, yep. you know, getting yep. all sorts of. Sure. And and uh, there's, and, and not not the people who are selling their wares. And no, goods, the people. The uh, people who are going to buy it. Exactly. You think, hey, we're all here to support local growers and farmers. We're here to all support local agriculture. We're all here to support clean living. What is your malfunction? <laughs> Lady with 15 bags, you know, like, what is your deal? Like, okay. I, I like so, the people with the wagons. Like, yeah. Yeah, the wagons. Like, it, like, it's like, what are we doing? All right. You, hey, you with your wagon, wagon we can all, tomatoes. we can, there's enough asparagus for everybody. <laughs> like, they're not going to so, run out of kale at the farmer's market. I don't like <laughs> going anymore. I don't even like going. Oh, really? I don't like going because it's just, I don't, I got enough angst. Yeah, I don't yeah, need. Not, I don't need does. farmers market angst. I don't need it. By the way, that's a great. They're crazy, you know. Like fantasy on those. FMA. Don't need it. The people the watching though at the farmers. No, market. I know it's, it's, here in Los it's Angeles. It's level. great. It is next level. I understand. Santa Monica's was epic. Back okay, in the day. I get it. I get it. But right there, that's that's underrated, angry Los Angeles. Could you imagine if that sort of vinegar was applied to like <laughs> angels dodgers <laughs> look at bob bradley looking back at you like, that's the look i got when somebody like thought i was trying to cut in line for some blueberries send me that screen grab please labc you got bob blueberry. bradley just pissed off like don't ask me about Carlos Vela from two years ago. Get lost. Get, Get lost. lost. What a great old man phrase, too. Get lost. That is. Where is that, where is that, you know what, in vinegar when it comes to, like, other battles for Los Angeles? Even Clippers, Lakers. Lakers are like, oh, uh, yeah. I mean, but they're getting nervous. They're getting there. I mean, LeBron said great. there's no rivalry. That was great. I mean, that was great. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.